Good evening, platform guests, staff, parents, family, and friends, and to you, College Park Academy, eighth grade class. I am Jamila Ahmed, one of your hosts and MCs for the evening. And I'd like to welcome all of you to the class of 2027 eighth grade promotion ceremony. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amelia Herrera. Tonight, our national anthem will be performed by College Park Academy alumni from the class of 2022, Ms. Rachel Odumade. Ms. <laughs> Ms. Odumade is currently enrolled here at the University of Maryland College Park, where she is majoring in public health science and has successfully completed her first year. Please stand. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Please be seated. Thank you, Rachel, for that wonderful rendition of the national anthem. Our middle school principal, Mr. Baker, will bring our welcoming remarks and will also represent PGCPS District 2 Board of Education representative, Mr. Jonathan Briggs. Good evening, College Park Academy staff, parents, distinguished guests of honor, and the class of 2027. My name is Stephen Baker. I'm the very proud College Park Academy middle school principal. I am incredibly excited, thank you, to celebrate the students of this class who have persevered through a global pandemic, social injustices, and a myriad of other challenges in addition to the normal academic rigor of a college and university preparatory middle school. I'd like to also bring a welcome from our true partner in education, Mr. Jonathan Briggs, who could not join us this evening as he has a PGCPS board meeting tonight. So from Mr. Briggs. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and the remarkable graduating class of 2027 at College Park Academy. Today, as we gather to celebrate this momentous occasion, I am immensely proud and impressed by your accomplishments. Though I am unable to be with you all today, I am nonetheless proud to have the privilege of representing College Park Academy as the District 2 School Board Representative. I am committed to ensuring that all schools in our district become bright spots like College Park Academy. Each and every student deserves a world-class education regardless of their background or circumstances. Together, we will work tirelessly to create an environment where every child has the opportunity to thrive, to dream big, 
and to reach for the stars. Today, as we celebrate your incredi incredible accomplishment, I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the promoting class of College Park Academy. You all have worked tirelessly, overcome obstacles, and grown both academically and personally. You are an inspiration to us all as you embark on this new chapter in your educational journey. Know that Mr. Briggs will be your champion. He will be there to ensure your voices are heard, to advocate for the resources you need, and to fight for the opportunities you deserve. Together, we will build a future where every student's dreams become a reality. Once again, congratulations, class of 2027. Embrace the challenges that lie ahead with courage and determination. You have the power to shape your own destiny and make a difference in the world, and I am honored to be a part of that journey. Thank you, and may your futures be filled with endless possibilities. Thank you, Mr. Baker, and to Mr. Briggs for your welcoming remarks. At this time, I'd like to officially acknowledge our guest of honor this evening. Dr. Sandy Abu Arja, College Park Academy Executive Director. <laughs> Mr. Stephen Baker, College Park Academy Middle School Principal. Mr. Gordon Libby, College Park Academy High School Principal. <laughs> Ms. Ellen Slabonic, Academic Dean. <laughs> Dr. Desiree Moore, Middle School Counselor. <laughs> Ms. Tierra Garner, Secretary. Dr. Saigun Eubanks, guest speaker, College Park Academy board member and director of the Center for Education, Innovation, and Improvement, and professor of practice at the University of Maryland. <laughs> Dr. Caroline Bernosch, College Park Academy charter board member. Dr. Hank Boyd, College Park Academy Charter Board Member. <laughs> Mr. Bob Catlin, College Park Academy Charter Board Treasurer. <laughs> now for our guest speaker, Dr. Segun Eubanks, is the Director of the Center for Education, Innovation, and Improvement, and Professor of Practice at the University of Maryland, College Park. Prior to joining UMD, Dr. Eubanks worked in various leadership roles at the National Education Association, including as Director of Teacher Quality and Director of Professional Educator Support. He previously served 11 years as a Director of Teacher Quality for the NEA. Dr. Eubanks also served as the Chair of Board of Education for Prince George's County Public Schools, a 100,032 student school the NEA's Committee on Professional Standards and Practice. Dr. Eubanks has spent his professional career working to promote opportunity, access, and equity in America's education systems. Dr. Eubank is a staunch advocate for public education and expert in teacher quality, teacher diversity, and teacher professionalism. He has served in various leadership roles with national nonprofit education organizations, including as an executive director of the Committee Teachers Institute and Vice President of Recruiting New Teachers, Inc. Dr. Eubanks has given scores of speeches and presentations to a wide variety of audience and has authored and contributed to many reports and publications on teacher quality and teacher diversity. Dr. Eubanks earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Educational Advocacy from the University of Massachusetts at Amherst, a Master of Science degree in Human Services Administration from Springfield College, and a Doctorate of Education in Teaching and Learning Policy from the University of Maryland, College Park. 
Dr. Eubanks is a father of four and lives in Mitchellville, Maryland, here in Prince George's County, with his wife, Dr. Cheryl Eubanks. Everyone, please help me welcome Dr. Segun Eubanks. Good evening. This is a fabulous looking crowd. Oh my goodness. Students, parents, family and friends, fellow board members, Principal Baker, Principal Libby, Education Director, uh, 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 Executive Director Abu Aja, administrators, teachers, school staff, esteemed guests. I'm humbled and honored to have been invited to speak at the College Park Academy 8th grade promotion ceremony for the class of 2027. Give yourselves a round of applause. That's what I'm talking about. Now my job as your guest speaker is to be brief, to be not terribly boring, and to say at least one thing that someone in the audience will remember. So let me start with that brief part in particular. First to my parents, I'm a fellow parent and I know just how proud you are. Many of you have worked almost as hard as your students to get them to this place today. <laughs> and you should give yourselves a pat on the back. But more importantly, students, please be sure, matter of fact right now, turn around and say thank you to, you, to the family members that are here today. Turn around and give them some thank yous. Give them the thank yous they deserve. Make sure to your mom, your dad, your grandparents, aunts and uncles, and other caregivers who've been your partners in education, make sure to tell them thank you for staying by your side. Thank you for making you study. Thank you for not walking behind the camera in their pajamas during virtual learning. <laughs> and of course, while you thank your family and they have helped, you should be proud of what you have accomplished. You've achieved great things these last few years. I understand that, that our, our theme is, oh, the places we will go. So let's start with, oh, the things you have done. Not only did you survive virtual learning, you thrived. I know this because during the pandemic, the University of Maryland received a huge grant to train teachers from across the state of Maryland on how to teach students virtually. And in order to learn how to do that, we came right here to College Park Academy because you all were not only exemplars for how to do this right during virtual learning, but your teachers helped to train thousands of teachers from across the state of Maryland in doing that very thing. So thank your teachers for this tremendous amount of work that they've done. And during that, you've achieved remarkable academic feats. Great grades, great test scores, and more importantly, you've grown. And you are ready to take the next step because 100% of this class has graduated and is going on to the ninth grade. Oh, the things you have done, but oh, the places you will go. That next place is that big weird thing called high school. Now I wanna offer you three keys to success, keys for students and keys for parents about how to be successful in high school. It's been a while since I've been there, but I know some things about that. <laughs> Key number one, students, academic success in high school is easier than you think. You already have what it takes to succeed. Now you just need to believe in yourself and show up. College Park Middle School has some of the best attendance rates in the state of Maryland. Thank you parents, thank you students. So you've already proven by your success that showing up really is half the battle. But now the other half of the battle, this is key number two, the other half of the battle is all about practice. Some people say study, I like to say practice. You get good at the things you practice and that you care about. Just like in sports or music or dance, if you wanna hit that basket, if you wanna make that note, if you wanna hit that dance move just right, 
If you want to get that A, you just need to practice. It's not that hard, just practice. And finally, key number, th key number three, this is for students and parents. Success comes in chasing dreams, not chasing dollars. You need to combine following your dreams, uh, following your dreams and finding out what you're really good at. So for me, when I was your age, I dreamed of being a wide receiver. I just couldn't run or catch. <laughs> so instead, I combined my dream of changing the world with my skill at teaching to find success. So that's your job. Find your dream and combine it with what you're good at. Parents, that means for you, be sure to give your children the space and freedom to follow those dreams. Don't talk them out of pursuing those so-called less, less lucrative professions like art or teaching. Just help them to develop the skills they'll need to pursue those dreams. So those three keys, you guys will be just fine. And I know you already will. So I'll close just by reminding you folks, reminding you students that you stand on the shoulders of your parents, your guardians, your family, your friends, teachers, and others in your lives who support and love you. So I'm gonna end with the words of a poem by M. Tumishi St. Julian entitled Sifa or Praise that gives powerful advice for how we should all live our lives well. It goes like this. May we always remember those who have gone before us. May we be inspired by their vision and their valor. May their lives continue to remind us that service is more important than success, that people are more important than possessions, that principle is more important than power. May whatever we do be shaped and molded by honesty, competence, and commitment. May our children and our children's children carry forth with pride the nobility of our history and tradition. To the creator of all of us, we dedicate our lives to make this world better and more beautiful. Class of 2027, congratulations and thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Eubanks, for your inspirational words. The class of 2027 will definitely remember your words of wisdom as we continue into our journey into high school and beyond. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for. At this time, I'd like to introduce Ms. Jasmine Chung, grade eight music and computer science teacher at College Park Academy, who will lead our presentation of promotion certificates and department awards. All right. Hola, Ron Femi, Abiyadun, Adisa, promotion to ninth grade, and PBIS award. <laughs> Precious Adabi, promotion to ninth grade.
Jamila Ahmed, promotion to ninth grade. Lila Ali, promotion to ninth grade. Lansana Alpha, promotion to ninth grade. Isaiah Alvaringa, promotion to ninth grade. Haiti Alvarez Guerrero, promotion to ninth grade. Rochelle Arrade, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> Alyssa Archie, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> Kendall Armstrong, promotion to ninth grade. Faith Ayeni, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> London Baker, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> Wendy Bello, promotion to ninth grade and by literacy award. Christopher Benavides Hernandez, promotion to ninth grade. Jonathan Benitez Cruz, promotion to ninth grade. Henry Benson Flannery, promotion to ninth grade. Precious Zawadi Blanco, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> Michael Blue, promotion to ninth grade. Fabrizio Bonilla Jimenez, promotion to ninth grade. Shakur Bakari, promotion to ninth grade. Sarah Brown, promotion to ninth grade. Esme Bryan, promotion to ninth grade. Jaden Caballero, promotion to ninth grade. Owen Callejas Pedas, promotion to ninth grade.
Naomi Carter, promotion to ninth grade. Amy Castro Garcia, promotion to ninth grade. Karen Chambers, promotion to ninth grade. Marco Chavez, promotion to ninth grade. Mark Kopic, promotion to ninth grade. Jennifer Corrado, promotion to ninth grade. Christopher Cruz, promotion to ninth grade. Shelby Davis, promotion to ninth grade. Joshua Diaz, promotion to ninth grade. George Doe, promotion to ninth grade and math award. Janelle Eden, promotion to ninth grade. Jade Edwards, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> Pettiton Joan Alessa Morgan, promotion to ninth grade. All right, everyone, we have um, a member of our class that is not with us here this evening. And um, what I'm really happy about is that his mom was able to write a uh, narrative this evening um, about him. So Andrew Ellicott is part of the class of um, 2027 as well. And I just want to read some, um, something from his mother. Andrew started out the eighth grade excited about getting back into hobbies and interests that he left behind during his initial cancer diagnosis. Though he was tired often, he initially seemed like a normal teenager, um, fatigue, and we were reassured that his type of cancer does not normally return this far past treatment. Then in November of this school year, our lives were abruptly upended when we learned that Andrew's acute myeloid leukemia had returned. Thankfully, there was a bone marrow match for Andrew, and after two rounds of chemo, he received a BMT on February 28th. Tomorrow marks Andrew's 100-day post-transplant, which is a major milestone.
he still, he still has a long road to recovery, but if things continue to go well, we should be seeing him return to in school, school in person in the ninth grade. He has worked really hard the whole time, whether the goal for the day was to get out of bed once, do his homework, uh, or to be carted around the hospital for various procedures. Chemo and BMT especially take a lot of energy from you, and there are days when Andrew wasn't up for anything at all. I'm happy to have Andrew home. On the slow path to recover recovery, he recently built his own computer and seems to be able to reconnect with friends. We are very much looking forward to him getting the opportunity to worry about normal high school things next year. Thank you, everyone. So, Andrew Elcott, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> Jocelyn Escobar, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> Anna Fedorova, promotion to ninth grade. Genesis Garay, promotion to ninth grade. Samantha Garcia, promotion to ninth grade. Miles Gibson, promotion to ninth grade. Haley Jerome Morjan, promotion to ninth grade. Evan Glarios, promotion to ninth grade and social studies award. Davy Gomez Diaz, promotion to ninth grade. Machiko Hay, promotion to ninth grade and English award. <laughs> Levi Hames, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> Elijah Hankins, promotion to ninth grade. Ahmad Harvey, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> Joy Heath, promotion to ninth grade. Joseph Hernandez, promotion to ninth grade. Alexa Hernandez Tejada, promotion to ninth grade. Amelia Herrera, promotion to ninth grade and social studies award. Parker Hill, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> Hannah Jones Dove, promotion to ninth grade and math award. Samari Kennedy, promotion to ninth grade. Brianna Kent, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> S 
Selena Coy, promotion to ninth grade. Ivan Leva Perez, promotion to ninth grade. McKenna Lilly, promotion to ninth grade. Walter Lopez Avila, promotion to ninth grade. Anna Lynch, promotion to ninth grade. Miss Rhea Marthy, promotion to ninth grade and health award. Camille McIntyre, promotion to ninth grade. Tristan McLaughlin, promotion to ninth grade. Andrew McManus, promotion to ninth grade. Isabella Mendoza, promotion to ninth grade. Michael Mendoza, promotion to ninth grade. Katsali Meza Lopez, promotion to ninth grade. Jack Michael, promotion to ninth grade and PE award. Lucas Michaeloff, promotion to ninth grade. Salim Mohammed, promotion to ninth grade. Clara Most, promotion to ninth grade. Malika Murtaza, promotion to ninth grade. Caitlin Newmeister, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> Michael Oguin Gutierrez, promotion to ninth grade. Indira Olsen, promotion to ninth grade and science award. Fairdot OP, promotion to ninth grade. Hey. Sorry. Natalie Ortega, promotion to ninth grade and PBIS award. Max Ortiz, promotion to ninth grade. <laughs> Oreo Lua Osafuye, promotion to ninth grade and languages award. <laughs> Nelson Paolo, promotion to ninth grade. Christopher Portillo, promotion to ninth grade. Gabriella Portillo, promotion to ninth grade and computer science award. Josiah Price, promotion to ninth grade.
Sa'u Quant, promotion to ninth grade. Annie Kiro Santiago, promotion to ninth grade. Nicholas Vergati, promotion to ninth grade and computer science award. Malachi Rice, promotion to ninth grade. Darian Robertson, promotion to ninth grade and English award. Sophia Roder, promotion to ninth grade. Aisha Rodriguez Akande, promotion to ninth grade and music award. Lauren Santel, promotion to ninth grade, PE and health award. Natalia Samuels, promotion to ninth grade. Bernice Selden, promotion to ninth grade. Tanner Sullivan, promotion to ninth grade. Leol Solomon, promotion to ninth grade. Benjamin Soriano Palma, promotion to ninth grade. Wilfredo Soto, promotion to ninth grade. Bryce Stargell, promotion to ninth grade and music award. Kai Mung Swan, promotion to ninth grade and science award. Noah Tabor, promotion to ninth grade. Trey Thomas, promotion to ninth grade. Aaron Thorson, promotion to ninth grade. Justin Tran, promotion to ninth grade. And Stephanie Trinidad Chavez, promotion to ninth grade. Giselle Trinidad Chavez, promotion to ninth grade. Tyler Wade, promotion to ninth grade. Tyler Watson, promotion to ninth grade. Riley Wheeler, promotion to ninth grade. Antonio Winkler, promotion to ninth grade. Iobe Workyu, promotion to ninth grade and languages award. Sadie Young, promotion to ninth grade.
Let's give our class of 2027 a big round of applause. Jamila and Amelia, I need your help again. Come on back up. Thank you so much, Ms. Chung, and congratulations, class of 2027. At this time, we will have our salute to scholars, read by our very own class of 2027 member, Ms. Indira Olson. Indira has maintained a perfect 4.0 GPA throughout her middle school career at College Spark Academy while accelerating in numerous classes. Indira has been accepted by the Harvard Academy's Summer On Campus Coding Program. <laughs> Introduction to Python via the recommendation of Ms. Chung. She is a National Junior Honesty Society member she helped in the planning of numerous student government association events throughout her middle school career. She spread flyers about fundraisers for CPA's class of 2027 and created mental health awareness flyers and wrote a mental health awareness essay. She also created cyberbullying awareness flyers and wrote a cyberbullying awareness essay. She was a part of a girls discussion and support group run by CPA's professional school counselor, Dr. Moore. In her personal life, she has taken dance and archery classes. She also has taken up the ukulele and attends lessons and learned the ukulele basics. Please help me welcome class of 2027 promotee, Miss Indira Olsen. <laughs> Well, hi everyone. Uh, we're here graduating class of 2027. I'm Indira Olson and I'd like to give a warm welcome to all the friends and family here today. I'll start by giving a huge thanks to the parents and teachers that have played a pivotal role in where we are today. Thank y'all. Thank you for coming to the eighth grade promotion ceremony. Today we become ninth graders, high schoolers. It may feel like it's not real, but we've done it. I've met some of my favorite people here at College Park Academy. I've laughed to the point of tears and I've made memories I'll never forget. Hopefully you all can say the same. We started here in online school, something I'm sure most of us never expected to happen. It was a very big adjustment and change to the schooling we're all used to. And we never really got the experience of finishing elementary school. And now all of that feels so long ago. We've made it here and we're, that, and we're at the finish line for middle school. Promotion will mean changes for all of us. It will mean different paths and different futures. I'll be sad to see many of you go from CPA, but I know you'll continue to be amazing at your high schools. For those of you staying at CPA, I know you'll be great here too. We've all struggled at different points during middle school, but we persevered. Getting here wasn't easy, but it's a big accomplishment. Recognize the hard work you've done and take pride in it. Allow yourself to gain something from your mistakes, but don't dwell on them. Allow yourself to continue to learn. I'm very proud of all of you, and I'd like to say thank you for coming here, but, um, oh, I just forgot what I was gonna say. Well, well, I'd like to say, <laughs> oh, actually, um, I have a quote from our very own math teacher, Mr. Tabo. Don't, don't just do good, do your best. <laughs> Thank you, Indira. That was beautiful. At this time, I'd like to welcome back middle school principal, Mr. Baker, for his farewell remarks. It has been an absolute pleasure hosting as your MCs tonight. Congratulations, class of 2027, and thank you.
All right. Let's start by thanking Amelia and Jamila. Let's give them a big round of applause. That's not easy to do. Trust me, standing up here, you both did a great job. Thank you so much. Dr. Eubanks and Indira Olson, thank you so much for your speeches tonight. They were incredible speeches. All of our platform guests that are here this evening, we talked about our MCs already, Dr. Eubanks, also Ms. Chung, did an amazing job with all the names. Mr. Libby, our incredible high school principal. Dr. Moore, our amazing professional school counselor. Ms. Slobodnik, our excellent academic dean. Ms. Garner, the only reason I look like I know what I'm doing up here tonight. Thank you, Ms. Garner. Dr. Abu Arja, Dr. Bernash, Mr. Catlin, Dr. Boyd, thank you all so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Families, especially our parents and friends that are here tonight, thank you all so much for the three years. We had a long road. You probably have heard more of me on robocalls than in person since we started virtually. So you know this voice from every Sunday at 4 o'clock with the week ahead. Faculty and staff, thank you for all you do. Without your rigor, guidance, and support, our students would not be able to be here to celebrate. There's some specific people I'd really like to thank. Mr. Kearney, our student advocate at College Park Academy. Ms. Gray, our math coach at College Park Academy. Ms. Mamunez, our ESOL teacher at College Park Academy. The entire eighth grade team, Ms. Battle, Ms. Mitchell, Ms. Chung, Ms. Reed, Ms. Sullivan, Mr. Boney. Ms. Tata. Mr. Tabo. Don't only do good, do your... Okay, I learned that tonight. I'm going to use that from now on. And I want to uh, say a real, real big special thank you. Um, last year, uh, after I was done with this... Um, eighth grade promotion. Miss Chung and Miss Thornton came up to me and they're like, Mr. Baker, we want to handle a little bit more of the workload for all of the great things that the eighth grade is doing this week. Like tonight, like the cruise, like their picnic, like their dance tomorrow. Miss Thornton and Miss Chung, thank you so much for stepping up and helping to plan all of these things. One more speech from Mr. Baker. Here we go. What an awesome, awesome night. I am so lucky to serve as the class of 2027 principal. I truly love being your principal class of 2027. I'm so proud of all of you. I'm the lucky principal who gets to go to all my county principal meetings and reap all the rewards of your teachers, you, and your success coaches and all your hard work. You have some of the highest report card grades in the county, some of the highest attendance in the state, some of the highest PSAT scores in the country. Some of the highest MCAP scores across the state. And some of the highest NWEA test scores. I know you love all those tests. Congratulations on doing so well at all. I really do want to thank you for all that, but if I'm being honest, uh, what I'm going to miss the most are little informal chats in the hallways, even if it is just to take your phone or take your non-CPA coat. <laughs> our fist bumps, our handshakes, just getting to know you. We're here tonight to celebrate the places you will go from here as you embark on this new journey. High school, you should be filled with excitement and anticipation for the adventures that are going to lie ahead. It may have been years since you've read this book. Dr. Eubanks mentioned it earlier. But you're likely familiar with it, the famous Dr. Seuss, Seuss book, Oh, the Places You'll Go. In this book, Dr. Seuss takes us on a journey through life, highlighting the ups and downs we will encounter along the way. But he also reminds us that no matter what challenges we face, 
We have the power to overcome those challenges and achieve great things. As you all move forward in your, in your lives, you are going to encounter many different places. Some of these places will be physical locations. You'll go to new cities. You'll go to new states. You'll go to new schools. But there are also emotional and mental places you will go, like the depths of your own minds and the heights of your own potential. Some of those emotional places will be happy. Some of those will be sad. Always have someone to lean on when those emotions become overwhelming. And always know I can be your someone if you need it. Once your principal, forever your principal, class of 2027. No matter where you go, you must remember that you have the power to shape your own futures. You're going to choose starting tonight when you leave this building to embrace new experiences and challenges or you can shy away from them. You can choose to take risks and pursue your dreams. That's my expectation for every one of you. Dream big, you've got this. Go be a scientist, a veterinarian, an accountant. Go be a teacher, please be a teacher, we need teachers. <laughs> Go be a principal, an athlete, an author, whatever you do, be you and enjoy that ride. Students, I urge you to embrace the places you will go. Embrace the challenges, the opportunities, and the adventures that lie ahead. And remember, no matter where you go, you have the power to make a difference in the world. And you have someone who will always be here to help you if you need it. Please come back and visit. Parents and friends, Right now, your kids need you more than ever. You're probably sitting there right now thinking about when the class of 2027 was born, when you laid them down for their first naps, their kindergarten promotion, their preschool promotion, their elementary promotion. I've got my daughter's elementary school promotion on Monday. Can't have any video there. Mr. Baker's going to be crying like a baby, I'm sure, on Monday. <laughs> Let us never forget the words of Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Class of 2027, I am so excited, happy, and proud to have seen you all walking across this stage tonight. As you make this step in your lives, if you take one thing from what I've said tonight, Class of 2027, take this. Be confident. Be proud as you move on because we all believe in you. Congratulations, class of 2027. I am incredibly hopeful that when I say this, we will actually have some music. Let's see. Class of 2027, you may stand. When you hear the music begin, hoping, please begin to recess. Families, congratulations. Please stay at your seats. And once the students have recessed, I'll be back for a few more words this evening. They're good, they're making their own music. Now I gotta make sure I don't get charged.
staff, board members, and other distinguished guests. Our eighth grade scholars are partying back there right now, I hear them. They'll be released back in here to the main room in just a couple of moments. We have a picture area for our families and scholars right to my right over here. Obviously, the screens will stay up as well. Uh, the t-shirts that the students receive tonight should be worn on Tuesday. Have your, I'll have it in the week ahead as well. Wear it on Tuesday. Um, for their picnic at the school. We cannot thank you all enough for supporting your students tonight. We're going to let them back out into the main room here. Have a wonderful evening. Congratulations, parents.